After the Civil War, there was an influx of hunters and miners into the park. Timber was actually used to fund the war. And even at the moment, there is still trickles of these problems because there are still mining camps and some of these mining camps double as hunting camps. There's been records of killing of endemic species like the pygmy hippos, western chimpanzee. There's been a lot of challenges with concessions, deforestation. It's affecting the forest and reducing it. This project was meant to establish a conservation centre. Students, forestry professionals, academics and so on could be trained in conservation issues, field research skills. A gap analysis was conducted for academic institutions and it was found that there was no conservation in the curriculum. So far we've inserted 12 conservation modules in the forestry curriculum. The University of Liberia were very, very receptive of these modules and actually created two biodiversity conservation courses for them. What you are doing in Zappo National Park, it might look small, but it has contributed to the bigger vision to ensure that our children and our children's children still see the elephants, they still see the big people. We keep our forests, we protect our forests for the future generation. Mary has been successful in a difficult environment which Liberia is because she has a lot of passion. She put in all her time and she's also importantly willing to listen to her team and she has a connection with communities. The communities live closest to the forest. They depend on the forest. So they should be able to generate its income, but at the same time helping to ensure that there's sustainable management. People currently receive regular income from the biomonitoring, from employment at the research center. And then the women also benefit from doing field courses. They cater to people who camp at the center. They do the cooking, they take care of laundry, and, and they get paid for it. I'm hoping that at the end of the day, that would encourage more women to participate. With the training of the next generation of conservationists, I think we have seen our darkest days, and there will be challenges, but I think we will be able to overcome whatever challenge we face. My vision for conservation is to see African researchers, African conservationists, empowered. Most times when you're flying into the country and you look out and see the greenness of the country, you, it just blows your mind away. It would be nice to, to keep it that way. <laughs>